Good morning, everybody. This is Zachary on another thing of uh, Curious Christian. Uh, first thing I want to start off to say uh, thank you, Mo, uh, for the suggestion of Yusuf Estes, I think is how you pronounce it. You said that the guy at your gas station suggested, so thank you. I'll check him out after, I'll probably check him out after I get done with uh, all these videos. Uh, today's going to be dealing with uh, belief in the angels. Uh, so we're going to walk through again this book called uh, Fundamental Beliefs of the Muslim, or of a Muslim, rather, um, by the noble Sheikh El Amma, and then the rest of the name is down there, and I don't want to butcher his name. So that'll be that. Uh, let me know if you want me to type it out. I think I have it typed out in the first video. Uh, so, belief in, angel, belief in the angels. This is to believe in their existence, and that they were created from light. Allah created them to worship Him and execute His uh, commands in the universe, as Allah said. Um, they are but honored slaves. They speak not until he has spoken, and they act on his command. And then as well in uh, Surah 35, uh, Aya 1, Who made the angels messengers with wings, two or three or four? He increases in creation, on um, whatever he wills. Um, verily, Allah is able to do all things. So, uh, obviously, uh, angels is, I think, a big part of almost every world religion. Uh, they just call them by different names. Uh, the Greek gods were, by, at least what I would say as a Christian, were probably angels. Uh, actually, in fact, uh, the Lord Jesus' servant, Paul, said that when a person worships an idol, they are actually worshiping a demon behind the idol. Uh, so when somebody says, well, I pray to this idol, they something happens. Well, Paul would say, uh, that's be and he says this in, I think it's 1 Corinthians chapter 10, if I'm not mistaken, you can double check on that, I'll double check as well, um, Lord willing. But he says it, that idols themselves are nothing, but it's the demons behind it. Demons being fallen angels. Angels that rebelled against God. Angels that followed the way of uh, the adversary, the enemy, uh, also known as Satan or Diabolus. So, uh, so they say, we believe in their existence. Well, okay. So do I. And they were created from light. Now, I, that's something I'm curious about you say, from light. Okay, so one, that means that, that, at least in the English, that, with me, that visualizes somebody grabs the light and then forms something. Kind of like how in Genesis chapter 1, it says that God created Adam from, from the dust. It gives the visualization of somebody putting their hands into the dirt and, uh, forming something. So that same same idea, it creates the I, the visual that God grabs a material thing called light and then forms with it, forms something with it. Uh, and it says to worship. So I'm curious on what you mean by created. Uh, and then it says from light. Uh, so from and then also the word light, is that referring to the actual rays of the sun type of deal? Um, the energy, the electromagnetic waves? Um, or is it more in reference to, like, it's just shorthand for spirit, uh, which I'm not opposed to saying that uh, that angels, you know, that spirit. I'm not, I wouldn't get mad about that. But I'm curious on what is the, I guess, full view. Because it doesn't really say too much on the two uh, chronicle passages that it says. 
Uh, it doesn't really give any, uh, it doesn't even mention being created out of light. Um, it mentions, uh, like, attributes of them about their wings. It mentions their status. It doesn't really um, go into considering what exactly it means by um, light. Uh, it says that it created them to worship him. Um, again, I would need to know what you mean by worship. There's several definitions of worship. Uh, so I would want to know which definition you mean by worship. Uh, worship uh, meaning doing acts of service. Uh, work it, worship as in praise and adoration. Uh, so, I don't know. What, what are all the forms of worship that it's referring to? Uh, obviously, with a Christian background, or uh, not background, uh, atheist background, uh, second nature or new nature Christian, uh, I have the visualization of uh, Revelation and also Isaiah chapter 6, where it shows the angels before the throne of uh, God, uh, worshiping him, saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Uh, so that visualization, uh, also the visualization that the prophet Ezekiel uh, gives, that the, the cherubim, referring to the angels, uh, move as the Lord wills. When the Lord moves, the angels move. Make, giving the visualization that uh, they don't do anything outside of what God wills. Now, I would say that that doesn't mean all angels do that. Um, there are angels, like I said, the fallen angels, who they're fallen because they got out of step with the Lord uh, and are eternally lost. Uh, so, again, uh, try to get a grasp of what you mean by angels uh, it, it just it leaves it there. It it just says we believe in him, that he created them, that they worship him, and execute his commands in the universe, whatever those commands are. What so that that'd be a good another good question is, uh, what are his commands in the universe uh, that they fulfill or execute? So uh, the questions that I have. Are one, what does it mean by their existence? Two, what does it mean that he created them? Him referring to Allah. Three, what does it mean by create them from light? So the from and the light. Uh, uh, four, what does it mean by uh, worshiping him? What do you mean by worship? And five, uh, what does uh, do you mean by executing commands in the universe? It's a very strange way of putting it, but I'm, I do want to know what you mean by it. So, uh, that's kind of it for this video. But I do want to say, uh, yesterday's sermon was um, at my church was on, I think it was Genesis 32... Something like that. The um, visualization where uh, Israel, or Jacob at the time, uh, was wrestling with the angel of the Lord. Speaking of angels. Uh, and Jacob beats the angel. And here and, and demands a blessing from the angel which the angel gives him, also changes his name and whatnot. It's also what they call a, um, in theological circles, a theophany, or a, uh, I think it's called a theophany, where, I could be wrong on that, but the, the idea of God making his presence known on earth in the form of um, a created thing. Uh but that's less important and too controversial, especially talking to Muslims, so that's not important. Uh, what I did write down, um, an application for me, uh, applying it, uh, 
Now, my pastor does a great job of uh, exegeting the text, uh, breaking down what it meant and whatnot, but applying it, on the other hand, after doing all the legwork and the uh, hard work of understanding what it means, I wrote down, stop deceiving yourself, start fighting the weary, start the race though lame, wrestle with God, referring to wrestling with hard things, referring uh, with things that you may not understand. Uh, wrestle with man. Uh, this I would consider this a wrestling with man. I'm not trying to deceive myself in thinking that I understand everything. I'm, trying, I'm not deceiving myself, trying to deceive you thinking that I don't want to learn it, but I'm pretending that I want to learn it. No, I genuinely want to learn these things. Uh, I'm wrestling with, I want to wrestle with you. I want to uh, work through all these things. Uh, also, wrestle with sin. Uh, that referring to the tendencies that I have towards deception. Because again, uh, deception leads to death. For deception or lying is a sin itself. So I am trying to, st I would say that I'm by nature a deceiver who is, by God's grace, is striving to be a wrestler of these things. Uh, so, and I really hope that at the end of the day that there will be a great blessing gained from this, uh, that I would learn more about what my neighbor believes uh, so that we can have common ground, um, so that we're not losing anything in translation. Uh, these are things that I desire, I hope you desire, and in the next video I hope to uh, continue in this. Um, thank you again, Mo, for your comment. I hope that more people comment, and I will definitely check out Yusuf uh, tomorrow, or today, I don't know if I'm going to do another one today, is Belief in the Books, which I assume are the, uh, well, probably the Quran. I think maybe like the Hadiths and the Sunnahs and stuff like that. I could be wrong. Uh, <clears throat> correct me if I'm wrong, uh, or I'll correct myself in the next video. All right. The Lord bless you and keep you guys, and uh, Lord willing, I'll see you guys later.